Hey guys, BX Bricks back with another LEGO Transformer review, and today we have the Autobot Clone Twins. Yes, believe this guy is Fast Track or Fast Lane. I'm gonna go with Fast Lane and Cloud Raker. All right, so let's check them out. All right, so here we have Fast Lane and Cloud Raker. These guys are pretty cool. I was inspired to make these due to the recent uh, toy releases. I've been seeing reviews of those guys all over the internet, along with the Decepticon, Decepticon uh, uh, counterparts of these also. So I got those built as well. And these are part of the exclusives that I brought to BrickFest. So, um, as you know, they are supposed to look pretty much exactly the same in robot mode. Um, but they turn into two different vehicles. Fast lane turns into a, a race car like vehicle. Not the best that I've seen, but you know, it's, it's pretty good. Even the third parties, they're not exact. It looks kind of Cybertronian, like not something that you would ever see in the street. And then a fast, uh, not a uh, Cloudbreaker, pretty much similar, um, but turns into a jet mode. So. Um, let's get into articulation with these guys. They'll pretty much be identical for both. I'm gonna do a little zoomy zoomy. Um, just like the actual toys, it does have the gimmick where even on the race car, where the legs kind of, you know, split at the hips right there, I guess just to stay traditional. I didn't really need to build that for this guy, but you know, why not? Just a little added bonus. But as you can see, ball joints everywhere. Even has, you know, due to transformation, a butterfly joint. So that's pretty cool. Um, knees pretty much get you up. I mean, well, the hip gets you up to there. Back about that much. Um, out maybe about that much but you could always use that secondary joint to get all the way out but it'll look a little weird um knee just under 90 degrees a bend right there and of course my typical uh ankle tilt that i put on all my transformers with the heel spurs and such um for the head um it's on uh what is it a robot hand so a robot arm so could look left and right can't look down too much but it could look up just a fair bit so that's pretty cool um no waist swivel just due to how these transform pretty much just like the toy so um to get this guy into um race car mode we're gonna slide up these little heel spurs even everything out right there and clip them together so peg them together with the peg right there um, these arms are going to fold in and we're going to rotate the arm this way so then we bring it down like so that's how that's going to look right there do the same on the other side real quick And now we got the arms done. So now for the head, we pull it forward like that, flip it in and tuck it in like so. Now he's gone. All right, so next thing that we do is take the back spoiler right there just to get it up and out the way for now. Then we're gonna take these wheels and rotate them. Everything's pretty much on stud friction. Rotate them 90 degrees, make sure everything's nice and tight. Do the same on the other side. This one's a little extra tight right there. There we go. And then for the back spoiler, you just lift it up. And there we have race car mode. And two transformers, that's a race car. I'm not sure why, but it is, and it does roll. I mean, if I I mean, it does actually look very true to the to the subject matter, but I mean, if you're gonna make it look like this, at least make it roll, right? <laughs> so we're gonna put him off to the side and get to Cloud Raker. This guy was a little bit more fun to build, a little more interesting in my opinion, but um, transformation is surprisingly not the same. 
but we will get the hills and everything in place right there and try to keep our hands out the way as much as possible um, the arms do kind of fold the same oh wait why did I, that guy do that it's almost as if this thing is kind of like catching up on it a little bit so let's bring this guy forward yeah see that makes sense now I don't think I built them differently did I that would be kind of weird Let's make sure they're nice and flush Everything's nice and tight right there pretty much same build rotate at the elbow get that nice and flush right there everything looks super dupe and take the head it's getting strained out a little bit right there fold it in and then collapse it in like so you can kind of straighten out everything from there looks good um, the next thing that we're going to do is take the hips and now we're going to actually fold these out you want to twist at the thigh right here so that the side is now facing up let's get the swing out the way rotate that about um, about 180 degrees um, let's see I believe I had it yeah because this has to go like all the way out I believe pretty much like this and then the wing folds out like that and we do the same on the other side Oh no, the wing. Did the wing really fall off? <laughs> it did, it tried to fall off. Alright, so we're going to rotate the thigh. Rotate it. And pretty much you want... Hey, is this supposed to go that way? Yeah, that's what we'll do. And rotate the wing out so now on this this guy the arms don't fold that way actually fold the other way out so I don't know if that's supposed to like kind of help fill out the back of the plane or so try to dress it up make it look a little prettier and then we take the cockpit that's in the back and not break it to kind of just fold out but I guess the stud friction is not strong on this one new pieces once you fold it out it'll look like that so this is a jet to transformers <laughs> but it's not a bad looking jet you know so it's not bad at all um, I wish it kind of cleaned up a little bit more in the back, but this is literally how the toy operates right here. But the profile is pretty good. Um, with these, you could probably tuck them in or something just to kind of make them not look so dangly. I'm going to try that and see what it looks like. And to me, it looks a little better. So it's not all crazy looking, but... There he is in jet mode. Try to do a little zoomy zoomy. Come on guys. Act like you like each other. You guys are twins. Alright, so let's do a little 360 of these guys. Fast lane and cloud raker. Pretty nice, pretty nice. It was a fun build. To try to get you know one robot mode pretty much to turn into two different things and i made them interchangeable to where if you decided to take the wheels off of uh fast lane and pop in you could pop in the wings on that and basically do the same transformation as you can see the the cockpit on a uh, cloud raker does pop off it goes right onto the back of this guy and vice versa so all of their parts are pretty much interchangeable for what reason, I don't know. I just, you know, decided to add that little bit of engineering in there. But 
yeah, I thought it was pretty cool to do that. Um, surprising, I mean, considering I went from robot to uh, vehicle mode, I don't really have anything to do size comparisons with in vehicle mode. They're normally all in robot mode. But, um, what I will say, <laughs> because I do have a subscriber that always, and I mean, they've been asking me for a horse for a while, and I just didn't see, like, all right, how, do, how will I plug this into anything that I'm doing right now? But, you know what? I said, you know, I'm, I'm gonna knock the horse out. It's still a work in progress, but here's a horse, all right? That's gonna transform, it looks pretty cool. Um, I don't think I posted it on social media yet, but it's I'm still working on the arm transformation in robot mode But it looks like a really awesome horse. I know that's really random But the person that will appreciate that will appreciate it so much more now that it's it's physically happening now <laughs> um, So yeah, that's pretty much it for um, fast lane and cloud raker and this is BX Bricks thanking you guys once again for liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting, all that awesome stuff. We are finally above 2,000 subscribers. Yes, I'm so excited about that. Um, so anybody who's watching this who is not subscribed, what's going on? Just hit the little red button. I'm not asking you to hit the bell and all that other stuff. It'd be nice to get a thumbs up or, you know, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this stuff. But please subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Do that for me, please. Um, either way, I will see you guys next time. Um, I'm going to try to knock out as many videos as possible. So, um, But it'll still be around four or five days apart, you know, when I release them. But um, I did not forget about the Beast Wars. I got two of them done. Uh, my weekend has pretty much gone to this horse that I recently showed you guys. So... I mean, I am still trying to design a Rhinox and Rat Trap and all those other guys, uh, Dinobot and, you know, uh, Mega, Megatron's, Don I, I really don't like Megatron and, and Beast Wars, he, he looks weird, he, the head is an arm and, uh, I know some of you guys grew up on him, but, ah, uh, please don't make me make that guy, like, ah, uh, come on, but, uh, either way, I will see you guys next time, peace.